Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Champions League. Yes, it returns today. PSG versus Barcelona, Liverpool versus Leipzig, both are happening tonight. I'm sure I am much like everyone else when I say I am looking forward to it. City play next week against Munchen Gladbach, which I'm also looking forward to. Good to see City finally back in the Champions League. It's been a while, so it's been since December, so about two months ago was the last time in the Champions League was played and in today's video I'm going to be going through my predictions for the Champions League I thought now was a perfect time to do so so I'll be going through each of the ties in the round of 16 saying what I think the score will be and why and then at the end I'll go through my favourites to win it and who I think is going to win it overall before we do again today's video though make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already let's see if we can get to 50 likes in today's video so yeah much appreciated if you could do that Anyway, without further ado, let's get on into today's video. We start off with Barcelona versus PSG, arguably the biggest of the games. It's a game happening tonight, and it's a difficult one to predict. Neither side is looking great in their league at the moment. Barcelona have been embarrassed in the last three years consecutive in the Champions League, losing 4-1 to Roma, losing 4-0 at Anfield, and losing 8-2 last year against eventual champions Bayern Munich. Barca currently sit third in La Liga, no real chance of winning the title there significantly off the pace of Atletico Madrid who look pretty destined to win their second La Liga in the last decade. They've been relatively poor all year, it's looking like this is their only trophy available to win as they've got no Spanish Super Cup, they're not going to win the league and in the Copa del Rey they are losing 2-0 on aggregate to Sevilla so far after the first leg. It's notable this is probably going to be Messi's last ever year in a Barcelona show so he'll be hoping to go out on a positive obviously he's got three champions leagues two under pep one under enrique but yeah it's looking unlikely that he's going to win anything this year but maybe you never know it's his last year maybe he'll get something before he inevitably moves to potentially psg next year or maybe even manchester city their opponents psg have also had a relatively poor year obviously poch came in for thomas tuchel now chelsea manager early on in the year and since poch has come in they've looked pretty decent only losing one game so far they are currently sitting in second in league un so far though which is obviously massively underachieving for a team like PSG they're second to Lyon in that league and obviously everyone expects PSG to win that pretty much every year in the last 10 years I think only Monaco have beaten them to the title as close as I think this one's going to be though I think PSG will come out on top I just don't think Barcelona have got it in them a really poor defence no Ansu Fati a fairly weak midfield from sometimes and I think Poch is also a much better manager than Ronald Koeman so I've got PSG to go through on this one winning 3-2 on aggregate Next up is Liverpool, Leipzig. Liverpool are in a real, real problem at the moment. They're out the League Cup, they're out the FA Cup and they're almost certainly out the title race. They're now in a top four scrap in the Premier League and as of right now they are losing it. Even West Ham, David Moyes' West Ham are ahead of them in the Premier League. Currently they've got three losses on the bounce and also three home losses on the bounce for the first time since like 1960 something. It's been a very long time since that happened, especially considering they've just gone off the back of a four year unbeaten run at Anfield in, in the Premier League. It is very surprising to see them go like this. They've only won three games so far in all of 2021, massively underachieving. They've also been smacked a few times, losing 4 1 to City, losing 3 1 to Leicester last week. And Allison is not having a good time of it all. Their opponents today, Leipzig, have only got two losses in 2021 and that is two losses in their last 17 games. So completely opposite really to Liverpool. Leipzig are in very, very good form at the moment under Julian Nagelsmann. They're currently second in the Bundesliga, sitting five points off top spot Bayern Munich who will inevitably win the league. They have announced that they're going to be losing up Meccano at the end of the year. He was linked to go to Liverpool potentially in January, but he has gone to Bayern Munich now. He will be playing, though, for the rest of the season, similar to the way Timo Werner played for them last year when he was announced to go to Chelsea. Leipzig were pretty impressive in the sense that they came out the hardest group. They came out the supposed group of death, PSG and Man United. Thankfully, they knocked Man United out. It would be nice if they could do us a favour and get Liverpool out of the Champions League. It's inevitable they'll, they'll defend with a five at the back and they'll just look to hit them on the break. And although Liverpool are in bad form, I see them winning this one. I think Liverpool win this one 4-2 on aggregate. Next up is Porto Juve. Juve massively underperforming fourth in the Serie A this year. Potentially not even going to win the title for the first time in God knows how long. They've got Pirlo as a manager who was never really going to succeed as well as I think some maybe hoped he would. The one thing on Juve's side is they have got Mr. Champions League in Cristiano Ronaldo, who never fails to succeed. As much as I say that, they did lose last year in the round of 16 to French outfit Lyon, who then went on to beat Manchester City, sadly. But yeah, so they lost the round of 16 last year in a surprising loss, so who knows, maybe it could happen again. 
Porto, on the other hand, are not a great side. They've drawn four games on the bounce in Portugal. We saw them versus City this year, if you're a City fan. They are bang average at best. They did draw to City. However, that was in a game where City had nothing to play for. Top of the group was already guaranteed, so it didn't really mean anything. And as much as you've out doing very well this year, I've got them to win this one 4-1. Next up is Sevilla versus Dortmund. This could be a very, very entertaining tie. I think it could be very underrated and could definitely be one of the tightest games of them all. Dortmund so far this year, similar to plenty of teams I've mentioned already, underperforming this year. A lot of people had hoped that maybe they might push Bayern Munich a bit this year with Haaland up top, Sancho, Reina. They had added Jude Bellingham to that. They've got a decent young team. We know Dortmund are good at bringing through the young players. But this year, it's been a really, really poor year for them. It will inevitably probably be Haaland's last year at Dortmund. He's been linked to a lot of clubs like Chelsea, like City. I imagine he'll end up at like a Bayern Munich or a Real Madrid or a Barcelona. Who knows? But yeah, if they're going to get anything from this, you've got to imagine it'll be Haaland that gets them out of danger. He's scoring goals for fun. He's pretty much getting a goal a game since he's joined Dortmund. It is a ridiculous stat. They've had a new manager come in fairly recently after Lucien Favre was sacked due to underperformance, and they have announced that they will be getting the Munchen Gladbach manager in at the end of the year. They're currently sixth in the league, massive underperformance, as I said. Their opponent, Sevilla, however, have won nine games in, the, in a row, including a 2-0 victory over Barcelona. Jules Koundé, one of their standout players, he was linked to Manchester City last year, currently linked with the likes of Manchester United, scored an absolute cracker of a goal against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey, and he is looking very good. But the Sevilla side looking very good, they're fourth in La Liga, only behind Atletico, Real and Barcelona, so very understandable. And in my opinion, they're probably favourites for this one, I've got Sevilla to win this one 3-2 on aggregate. The next tie is Atletico Madrid-Chelsea, as I said earlier, Atletico Madrid doing very, very well this year. Arguably one of the better teams in Europe. In my opinion, they're the second best team in Europe currently. Only three losses all year this this year. One of them being a 4-0 battering from Bayern Munich, which is understandable because it's Bayern Munich, although not very Simeone-esque that. They are five points clear at the top of La Liga with two games in hand. It's looking pretty certain, as I said earlier, that they're going to be winning La Liga this year. They've got Suarez pretty much for three from Barcelona this summer. Although it is notable that Suarez doesn't have a very good record in the Champions League. He, he went years without scoring away from home in the Champions League. The goal against Bayern Munich in that 8-2 defeat last year for Barcelona was his first goal in the Champions League, not at the new Camp in like four years or something stupid like that. So you've got to imagine that Atletico Madrid will be hoping that Suarez doesn't go missing in this one. Chelsea, on the other hand, have looked very, very solid since the arrival of Tuchel. Obviously came in to replace Frank Lampard after the Luton game earlier this year. After drawing his first game with Wolves, he's gone on to win five games in a row. And Chelsea are looking very, very solid. They're looking for the top four spots in England right now. It's looking like City, United, Leicester and Liverpool, I reckon, will get those spots. Chelsea definitely with a shout. I think United, Leicester and Liverpool could all drop out one of them. However, as good as I think Chelsea are, I think Madrid do win this one. Although I think it'll be tight. I'm going 2-1 Madrid for this one. Next, we've got Lazio versus Bayern Munich. The current holders of the Champions League. The sex super winners, only the second team in history. To do so, they go up against the Lazio side, who has done much worse this year than last year. They've still got Chiro Mobile up top, but they are 7th in Serie A this year. They've got a decent form. You've got to imagine they're going to lose, though, especially this Munich side. They've just come off the back of a Club World Cup victory. They did draw 3-3 yesterday, though, to Armenia, which was slightly surprising. Their last loss came against Borussia Mönchengladbach after they bolted the 2 lead. Back at the start of January. But yeah, you've got to imagine Bayern Munich win this one. I think it'll be one of the more comfortable wins for the round of 16, I've got Munich to win this one, 4-1 on aggregate. Anyway, next up, this is the penultimate game. We've got Atlanta versus Real Madrid. Real Madrid have been underperforming in the Champions League now for a little while. They obviously won three Champions Leagues back to back to back. And yeah, it was very, very impressive from them. But then they went and lost to Ajax in 2018-19, getting absolutely smacked 4-1 at the Bernabeu, which was very surprising. It was obviously a very good Ajax seed team. You've got to give them credit. But Real underperformed. And then again, last year they got knocked out in the round of 16, this time to Manchester City. After that performance at the Bernabeu that City produced, it was incredible. And then, when they came to the Etihad in August, City also beat them 2-1 after Varane had an absolute stinker. Atlanta do know how to attack. They're not so good at defending. We saw that. They played Liverpool this year. They're a very bipolar side. They obviously have beaten Liverpool this year. They've got smacked by Liverpool this year. You don't know who, what, how they're going to turn up. It's the same on Madrid. Real have been good at times this year, at times been poor, and that is why they're not top of the league this year. I do think 
Dick Madrid will win this one though. I'm going for a 5-3 win. I think there'll be lots of goals in this one. I think this Atlanta side is a very enjoyable one to watch under Gasparini. And so, yeah, I think Madrid will win this one 5-3, but I do think it'll be very entertaining. The final game of the round of 16 is City versus Borussia Mönchengladbach. I spoke about Atletico Madrid potentially being the best team in Europe. I think they're second best. I think City are the number one at the moment. 16 wins in a row in all competitions. An English all-time record. City are looking unstoppable at the moment. League looks pretty bang on at the moment. We're seven points clear. Tomorrow we go to Goodison Park with the game in hand. If we win that one, we go ten points clear of rivals Manchester United. It is looking very, very positive. We're in a League Cup final. We're still in the FA Cup. We're going for the Champions League. The quad is still on for Manchester City. And I've got to say, I think if we win against Manchester United back, like we're expected to, I think we'll start to see media tension build up that there could be a potential quadruple on this year. I don't think we're going to win the quadruple, but I do think it is there. And I think if there was ever a chance to win it, I think this is probably the best chance we've ever had, considering no other teams in Europe are looking that great at the moment. In terms of Munch and Gladbach, they, as I said earlier, their manager is leaving them at the end of the year. He's obviously gone off to Dortmund. They're doing okay. As I said, they beat Bayern Munich early on in the year, 3 2 after coming back from 2 0 down. So definitely do not take this Munch and Gladbach team lightly. But at the same time, City, firm, firm favourites for this one. I'm going City to win this one 7 to an aggregate. And I know I said don't take these too lightly, but I do think if we turn up, we will absolutely batter them. I could see maybe a 4-1 and a 3-1. I think it'll be pretty comfortable for City, especially with the form we're in at the moment. Obviously, who knows, between now and then, things could change. Gundogan, we don't know how long he's out for at the moment. If he misses the game, it'll be a big loss, especially the first leg. De Bruyne should be back for the second leg, though. And I don't know, I'm pretty confident we win this one. Anyway, to quickly go over the teams that I've just said then, I'm going with PSG to go through, Liverpool to go through, Juve to go through, Sevilla to go through, Atletico Madrid to go through, Bayern Munich to go through, Real Madrid to go through, and Manchester City to go through, meaning that they will be the teams in the quarterfinals. Obviously, it's difficult to do the predictions for the Champions League. I will make an updated predictions once the round 16 is over and we've seen the Champions League quarterfinal draws. In my opinion, there's four teams out of those eight that all stand a decent chance of winning it. Obviously, there is more. The likes of PSG and Real Madrid could definitely cause a threat. I just don't think they will. But yeah, for me, the four favourites are Bayern, Atletico Madrid, Liverpool and Manchester City. It depends on many variables. As I said, the draw will be crucial. I think if City, for all we know, City could draw Bayern, Madrid could draw Liverpool. And it'll be a completely different story. Or they could all avoid each other until the semi-finals. So... Who knows? I think with Liverpool, it does depend if they get back to their form. They're definitely capable of winning the Champions League this year. Also, with Van Dijk coming back, talks that he could be back in April. That could definitely help them. That's around the quarter-final stage. And so, if they get past Leipzig, he could be back for the quarter final which would be massive for them. Equally, if he's not back and they're still not in good form, they might lose to Leipzig. They might, if not, I think they'll lose in the quarterfinals if they're still not informed by then. Atletico Madrid, in my opinion, the only team that I think could beat Man City currently. I think they're the team that sort of would set up and cause us problems. Other than that, I actually back against pretty much everyone. And then obviously with Bayern Munich, they're always good. They've got the same teams last year, plus the likes of Leroy Sané. They're always going to be a threat. But I think there's, there's more weaknesses in their side than there was last year. But pretty much to conclude, I'm saying Manchester City, my team, I think they're going to win the Champions League this year. I think we're going to win the treble, if I'm being completely honest. I'm going to make a video next week on the potential quadruple. Um, and my thoughts on that, how far I think we'll go with it all. But yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, I think Manchester City will be the eventual winners of the Champions League this year. Leave who you think will be the winners this year in the comments down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Also, as I said at the start of the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and press the notification bell if you haven't already. But anyway, that'll be all from me today. Make sure to change make sure to stay tuned for the live stream tomorrow, the watch long against Everton. I'll be live with that at 8 o'clock. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's all from me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.